Wally Lamb, a cis, white, heterosexual, male, best-selling author, has gotten a bit of flack about writing what some deem are women's stories. His first book, She's Come Undone, became an international bestseller thanks in part to a stamp of approval from Oprah Winfrey during the first year of her book club. And Lamb has followed that book with a number of other well-celebrated stories, including works that have become adaptations for television miniseries. He has written not only about women, but about gay, lesbian, and queer characters, those with mental illnesses, those in prison, those living through tragedy. None of those experiences are the author's own. But you think, shouldn't we write what we know? Sure. But as long as you are living on planet Earth, and especially if you are a writer, you should be curious about it all. Live your life and soak up your personal experiences, but learn the experiences and perspectives of others. Do you have the right to write about other people? To be inspired by real people and write in fictional ways about what they have experienced? That's another side of this coin, the moral and ethical side. And it's something we will explore at length at this channel. How much of other people's lives and experiences are we permitted to repurpose and use creatively? Wally Lamb doesn't just write about women incarcerated. He has spent decades working in the prison system and educating incarcerated women, actually helping them to publish their works. I suppose that gives him a certain earned right to share some part of that perspective within his fictional stories. I'd go to flush, but can't find the button. Well, I guess I'd better try to pee as long as I'm here, although I don't really have to. I pull down my pants and suspend my rear over the bowl, manage a little bit of dribble, find the flush button, pull up my pants. I could have held off a while on buying these pregnancy jeans, but I'm glad I didn't. My sister would probably be mortified by the elastic waistband. I can just hear her. You're 27 years old and you're already wearing old lady pants? Well, so what? They're comfortable. Those old ladies have the right idea. Writers are purveyors of the human experience. We will write about life in cities and countries that we may never visit. We will write about life on planets we can only imagine. We will explore cultures and religions and customs that feel worlds away from ours. We will write of meals and scents and fabrics that we may never experience firsthand. And we will do it if it makes sense within our stories to do so. It's not acceptable to use other people's real life experiences just because you're inspired to do so. It is acceptable if you use it to make your characters, their relationships, and your story more relatable to others, including those who will see themselves in your stories and You do it in a way that honors those who lived through the real experiences.